Hey guys, this is Amber from NotableInc.com and I am here for the Hedgehog Hollow today with a little bit of a different card. I had this idea when the Birdhouse Cubby stamp set came out in the April 2019 kit and I didn't have time to do that because I wanted to start designing for the May kit so I'm going back to that and revisiting that stamp set, the Birdhouse Cubby stamp set. I will also link the Art Impressions woodland tree stamp set below because if you weren't able to get the hedgehog hollow april kit that's a good substitute also made by art impression so i've cut some strips of some aqua paper here just as placeholders to kind of test out my design theory here and what i'm going to be using instead is a is a leftover piece of alcohol ink panel that i used for the first project that i had done for the hedgehog hollow um, and so you can see I'm just using this one little bird that's flying. I wanted them all to be flying in the same direction. So I ended up using the same stamp. And my idea was to use this piece of alcohol um, ink panel that looked like a sky. And to have the birds kind of flying out from behind that. And so I varied the width of the strips. And then I'm also going to vary the width in between those strips so that the birds are kind of peeking through. So I'm just checking out. I wanted it to kind of start as just a small amount of birds and then get bigger as it's going off into that upper right corner so that it creates a nice sense of movement. And I like the way that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my alcohol ink panel. And this panel also has a bit of Ranger foil on it. So I'm doing one strip that's three quarters of an inch wide, one that is half inch wide, one that's three eighths inch wide, and then one that is a quarter inch wide. And at, I'm putting them over to the right. I'm making sure that I keep them in order and the correct side up so that the pattern will match as I adhere them to the card panel. So we've got our card panel here and I love the touch of uh, foil that we have here. So I'll have all the supplies that I use linked below But in terms of design, this is a really simple card and comes together really quickly I missed stamped this one and didn't get the belly and the feet So I'm just adding that in with a Sakura micron pen Super easy to do there because it was a pretty easy part of the bird and then I'm going to just pop these um, pieces of alcohol panel up on foam tape and so since I'm starting with the thickest panel, I'm gonna put the first two pieces closer together. And you can see that I put the wrong one down. So I'm just gonna peel that up and it does tear my card. Uh, <laughs> this is totally par for the course for me, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm just gonna adhere that down with just a little bit of Ranger Multi Matte Medium. And I figure too that the strip that should be there was wider than the one that I adhered down in the first go. So it should cover up anything that tore. So my spacing on between my first two strips is about a quarter of an inch. And then you'll see as I go through and adding the strips, I'm adding a little more space. So basically, basically I'm doing the opposite of the thickness of the strip started wide and the spaces are starting more narrow and then getting wider as we move over to the right. So I have about a quarter of an inch uh, or maybe like eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. No, it's like quarter of an inch. I don't know. They just keep getting a little bit wider. And I stamped my sentiment here and I was out of frame, but what I did is I masked the told me, I masked me, and then I used that same micron pen to just write in us, cause I thought this would be kind of a fun group birthday card. Um, so a little birdie told us it was your birthday and you're, they're kind of all flying over to his nest. So I just added a couple um, of Nouveau white drops there just for a little more embellishment and to draw the eye to the sentiment. And that is the finished card. I hope that you enjoyed this project today. It's a little bit different in terms of its design and, and having the panel cover up some of the stamping. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think about designs like this that are a little more out of the box. I will link to a couple other of the April kit um, projects that I did at the end of this and then I'll see you guys back soon with some design inspiration for the June box. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you have not subscribed already to my channel and you enjoyed what you saw today, please consider hitting the subscribe and the like button and that bell button if you click that will notify you anytime I have new inspiration on my channel. 
Thank you so much for stopping by, and until next time, breathe, ink, inspire.